his portraits of Marie Thérèse are the peak of Picasso's career. If it's not the peak, it's one of the most sensitive, touching, gentle. In this year, in 1932, you can see that for the first time, he's deeply in love. You can even imagine Picasso sleeping next to her. It's a little day-to-day -day moment where he's not trying to make a statement. He's just very close to her. For Picasso, I really believe this is the only moment. If you look at Dorama or if you look at Olga, amazing relationship, beautiful stories. But with Marie-Thérèse, you can see that this amazing artist is just like a little kid watching the most amazing thing he has ever seen in his life. He's in love. We very rarely see Picasso working in such an intimate format. It affords the viewer the opportunity to get really intimate with the work as well. The choice of hues is special. We have a gorgeous lavender, these prominent red lips. You also have this incredibly vivid cotton candy pink and a very rich green background. The line becomes incredibly sinuous. Everything is curvaceous. Everything looks like a wave. A lot of the romanticism that we associate with this period and with this relationship really is derived from the formal vocabulary. It's because Marie Therese is depicted in restful positions, looking so feminine that people associate these paintings with love. In this group of works, it's a gentle Picasso, a Picasso in love. And that's what has been touching collectors from the beginning to now. And it's still the group of works that everybody wants to live with.